The ocean is a huge aspect of the game with a lot of gems that can be gathered under the waves. With no real explanation on where to get started or where to gather, it can be confusing looking for those giant pearl oysters. Welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. My name is Teddy and today I'll be showing you how to get started with underwater gathering. When it comes to Black Desert, there's a lot of different ways to do life skilling and not always a clear forward way to do this. Underwater gathering is one of those ways that aren't exactly clear. Sure, you can just jump into the ocean and start gathering, but it'll be hard with the lack of breathing. But why bother under underwater gathering anyway. Under the water is home to a variety of corals, lobsters, and pearl oysters for cooking. There's also a chance for treasure chests to spawn randomly on the ocean floor, though these won't make a lot of money. Everything can be processed down further to make millions or sold on their own, but let me show you how to get prepared to start gathering millions underwater yourself. We aren't given much options when it comes to underwater breathing, like with the desert debuff out in Valencia, but with the options we do have, can extend our breathing and speed up the gathering so you won't have to sacrifice one for the other. Gathering underwater has three different aspects to gear for unlike normal gathering. These are gathering speed, item drop rate, and lastly, the breathing portion. Starting out with the gathering speed list is the gatherer's clothes. Using the silver embroidered gatherer's clothes will increase gathering speed. Using plus three has a plus 20% gathering experience for those looking to level gathering while underwater. These can be made using any costume workshop or can be bought from the central market. For those who are looking for those rare drops, the mastery gear such as Lagia or Manos is the best here with Tri or Tet Manos allowing more lobsters or pearl oysters than lower mastery. These can be bought from NPCs such as Camilla Lagia here or bought from the central market. Manos gear can also be made. As for the accessories, using Lagia, Garano, or Manos will increase mastery and the chances of getting more rare drops while gathering. These are the same as the gatherer clothes. The tools are easy with just being able to use the hoe. Using either the magic lucky steel or lucky shining steel will increase the luck while gathering and decrease the time needed to gather until you get around 600 mastery. These can all be made using the tool workshop or can be bought from the central market. And if you want to see how to start making your own tools without having to touch the central market, click the video in the top corner or the link will be in the description down below. After 600 mastery though, using the Lagia or Mana's hoe will increase the drop rate and reduce the gathering time by 11 seconds and again. Like with the gatherer's clothes, these can be bought off the central market or crafted. Food wise, there's only two choices here. For gathering speed and more gathering experience, the seafood Crons is the go-to, and one of the main reasons why to go underwater gathering. This has life skill experience plus 10%, plus 100 weight limit, and plus 2 gathering. This also has plus 25 mastery too as an added bonus. These can be made by either combining 3 Balanos meals, 3 Calpheon meals, 1 Magoria meal, and 1 Ancient Cron spice. Alternatively, these can be made by combining 1 savory steak with 3 Balanos meals, 3 saute tea, and 1 Ancient Cron spice. These can also be bought off the central market too. The other choice here is the hard boiled shellfish which will increase gathering by two and underwater breathing by 10 seconds. These can be made by cooking three essence of liquor, two dried pearl oyster flesh, four garlic, two hot pepper, and finally five olive oil. These can also be bought from the central market. Finally on the list of gathering speed is the worker's elixir. This will increase gathering by another three. These can be made by using alchemy on one sinner's blood, six silver azalea, two powder flame, and four ash sap. These can also be bought off the central market too if needed. Getting on to the items that will increase the item drop rate while underwater gathering. These items are few and a little annoying to get, but can increase the amounts of coral or lobsters obtained. With the lack of choices, we have the sweet fig pie. This increases gathering item drop rate by 3% and can be cooked using 5 fig, 3 dough, 3 sugar, and 2 olive oil, or can be bought off the central market. The next item on the list is the alchemy stones of life. These can increase item drop rate ranging from plus 3% to plus 20% gathering item drop rate with the splendid alchemy stone of life. These can be crafted using alchemy or can be bought off the central market if you're lucky. Using the Agris Gathering is an easy way to increase the gathering amounts. It can be activated using the Agris Fever, but it doesn't sit well with the next thing on the list which is the hedgehog or the llama. These little guys will increase the amount of items gathered by 50% when tier 4 or tier 5. These can come with plus 5 gathering experience and plus 1 gathering if you're lucky, but sadly can only be bought from the pearl shop. The last items to get are the Sethra gathering artifacts with item drop rate and use the yawning hedgehog lightstone combination. This will increase the item drop rate by another 14% if using both artifact and combination. The Sethra artifacts can be obtained while gathering 
gathering while the lightstones have to be obtained while life scaling or can be bought from the central market. I do have a guide on that if you're curious on how to get that, but let's move on. Now with the gathering speed and item drop rates all sorted out, it's time to get started on extending those breathing times while underwater and swimming faster. This can be done a couple ways, like using the splash swimming goggles. These will increase underwater breathing by 20 seconds and have to be crafted in a level 2 costume mill in any major city. Another option is the Vabadin diving mask. This will give underwater breathing plus 15 seconds, but can be obtained from the port rat quest Cybel's Blessing here out in Morgoria. Wearing a full set of Fortuna gear will increase movement speed per one for each piece for a total of three points. The shoes can be socketed with two magic crystals of infinity submergence for plus 15 seconds per crystal. These can easily be obtained out here at Helm's Post here, or can be bought from the central market. The crystals can be made using alchemy on two green crystal, two clown's blood, two sapphire, and two essence of destruction. The elixir seal is a great choice and the only one for elixirs. These will give plus 15 seconds to underwater breathing. These can be made using alchemy on three dwarf mushrooms, one birch sap, four blood of group one, and by purified water. Don't worry, these can also be bought from the central market too. Getting to the bottom of the list is the fairy. These alone will not do much, but if you can get lucky, you can get the tingling breath skill. This skill will increase underwater breathing up to 30 seconds at tier five. And if you guys want me to make a guide on fairies, let me know down in the comment section below. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you've been enjoying all the life skilling content Black Desert has been updating. But getting on to the last thing that can be done to increase the breathing time while underwater is sadly the da dum da dum diving suit. This will increase underwater breathing by 30 seconds, swimming speed plus 90%, and less stamina while swimming. As another bonus, while wearing the set will increase swim speed by another 59%. Unfortunately, this costume can only be bought from the pearl shop and cannot be sold on the central market. All of this should help you get started underwater gathering and staying under longer in hopes to get more lobsters. There's a lot of ocean out there to start gathering and with the new continent coming out, I feel like underwater gathering might see some love out there in the future. I'm not sure, but if you guys want to start leveling those life skills faster or just want to start making more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Challenge fucking accepted. Bet. When you, when you hop on fucking YouTube and you just happen to come across my video of a guide on underwater treasure hunting, just remember, you are the reason. Right, crimson. Boom. There you go.